hello everyone uh, good evening uh, we have a guest teacher of visa society our big brother dr ethanese sorry for the mispronunciation of the name uh, now i would like to request dr ethanese to introduce himself dr ethanese uh, thank you so much uh, brother agala my name is Kuzman Atanaz. Uh, I am actually in Burundi. I'm in charge of courses at University of Burundi, but I did my uh, studies at Nanjing University of Information Science and Technology in China, uh, the same university with a, a friend Jalal. And then I did my master's there uh, in geographical sciences before it was uh, remote sensing and geography. And then I conducted my research on uh, uh, taxi and hotspot, etc., in the uh, Nanjing city. Then I conducted my PhD there uh, in 3S integration and meteorological applications. The measurement like 3S means uh, three sciences, which are uh, GPS, remote sensing and the GIS. Then all of the three uh, sciences to be applied on solving meteorological issues. Uh, then uh, many of my research fields, I am I'm interested in meteorological hazard risk analysis and management. I usually use archaeology tools and remote sensing. Uh, I also uh, do and conduct most of my research uh, related on climate change, hydrology, extremes, etc. etc. So I am very honored to be with you today. I was uh, it was my pleasure to, to be invited by you. Hello. So um, I think what I can uh, say before starting is uh, uh, to let you know that I will go slowly. I will try to uh, speak slowly so that you catch well what I'm talking. And then most of my uh, training will be based on not a story, but it will be Practical, uh, practical uh, training where we will uh, discuss and then practice, so that you may we may understand more and discover more. Because uh, this tool, ArcGIS, is um, a huge one. It has more applications. That's why uh, we normally take one part, one part. And before uh, I forget, I can also remind that. I was conducting the same training in NIST in June, uh, in this June, uh, uh, 2021, and also in, in 2019, uh, winter vacation. Yeah, so it means that now uh, uh, teach, teaching or changing about JS is, uh, I can say it, is my, it becomes my, my, my daily experience. Okay, so, uh, uh, brother, can you yeah. start? Can you share your screen and can you start the training now? Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Let's, okay, let's okay. Share the thank you. Yeah, screen. you can share the screen. Yes, share the screen. So maybe test you. Okay. Okay, for the participants, uh, like there will be miscommunication, maybe the pronunciation or uh, speaking accent, etc. etc. So if you can't get anything, you can ask the question to Dr. Athens. And he will cooperate. He will try to uh, deliver his lecture as much as he can. Okay. So we are here for you. So don't be like, don't hesitate to contact or uh, ask question to Dr. Athens. Okay. Please continue, brother. Can you can you please see the share the uh, PPT? Yeah, yeah. Can I can see. see I, I can see. Okay. 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 And then I I. I Change the, the way uh, topics are arranged. Uh, I 
myself uh, judge that the, the topic on um, uh, cancer and the arthritis analysis and what and op optimized analysis uh, may come first, and then I go on uh, autocorrelation and finally on modeling in statistical analysis. So today we gonna uh, focus on the two the uh, spatial statistics analysis. So maybe I may, I may call it a little that this part is very useful when you are dealing about data, huge data, maybe uh, from uh, transportation, from, from COVID-19, from uh, market, from crimes, etc., etc. So it means this tool is very useful. And then let's share, let me share the, uh, the arc G so that you may see this with uh, and share this one and then share this one. Okay, wait a moment. I'd like to share the actions. Okay. So I was uh, saying like today, we are mostly going to focus on this part. Sorry, I am trying to personalize this one. You see that Arakegis, as you saw with other trainers, uh, has more and more applications, more applications, more applications, and they have been seen with others, uh, these conversion tools and others. But today, uh, we are going to focus on these special statistic tools. And mostly, we are going to, uh, to see with uh, data how we can uh, uh, like, how can we uh, calculate uh, in terms of clusters, in terms of correlation, in terms of uh, location, in terms of, uh, let's say, um, the weight, the weight, and in terms of uh, uh, regression, in terms of um, uh, uh, standard deviation, in terms of uh, of value, key value, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then uh, we are going to focus more on this one, uh, starting by analyzing the pattern. So uh, let me uh, show you this with uh, an example so that you understand what I'm going to do. Here I have a number of data. Uh, let me open first the share file. I will use. Um, the data that I use in my master uh, thesis. So let's open this this share file of Nanjing, the city where I did my studies. And then this is actually Nanjing. Uh, let's remove this one. Hello, this one. I allow this one. This is the share file. And then I have a number of data in. Excel data or uh, CSV or TXT data, and then I'm going to add XY data. I think most of you have already learned how to add XY data. So I have XY data somewhere. I'm going to add uh, XY data. Let me go back. Uh, just take this one, this simple one. Uh, I add this data. In this data, what do I have inside? Let's check. Uh, this data, I have this four pattern. I have the longitude and then latitude with the position of this number of taxis uh, at this location. Of course, I omitted some information because this was huge information about the taxis, the time, uh, the starting time, any time, but uh, in order not to bother you, so that to make things clear, I just took these two uh, columns, this one of taxes, and then particular. Means that this data is about the the number of taxes uh, at a given time, and the particular uh, cars at a Point because this is a point actually. This is one last. This means one point. This means one.
one point, one point. Then at this point, uh, at this point, uh, were recorded 38 capsules, right? And then uh, 126 uh, private or particular uh, cars, maybe cars or any other, but which is not taxi. And then uh, there was at a given time, I didn't mention time, maybe here it was like during one minute or during 005 seconds, but I didn't want to bother you. I just want to be clear to go with some specific um, information. So you may uh, take note like this is about uh, this point and then the number of taxis which were uh, recorded, tracked, passing at this point. So this, uh, I have more. So in a city like uh, anywhere, even in your country, assuming that you have to uh, to make, to conduct a study about uh, transportation and then give the basic information about what is uh, going on there in order to uh, produce or to uh, to make a new plan or also to make some, let's say, prediction. Uh, here, these two um, statistical analysis will be more helpful. So let me add this information. I was just showing you the, the, the data inside. Then let me add that, learn that. Okay. Let me add this data. Oh, sorry, uh, I should just click on this one. Data, then, okay. So you see that I have added this data, but uh, unfortunately, um, I have some some data tracked outside, as you can see, there are some taxis um, outside. But maybe uh, my target is to focus on the, this specific area, which is uh, already uh, defined by this shape file. So as you know, the following step is to try to clip. I'm going to clip. I'm going to clip this uh, uh, data. Uh, by using this processing and the clip. In case you don't remember this one, uh, simple, just go to this tool and then search clip. But uh, let's get it from here, the processing clip. And then what are we going to clip? We first of all input the features, which are this one, uh, sample, the features are this one. I I could even plug in there or just select from this uh, uh, small window. Then the clip features, I want only to work on the limited area, which is margin. Then let's also specify maybe where to save. Uh, let's save in A1. Let's say like a data present it, data press like this. And then let's save this one and clip. Uh, while waiting for the clipping option. Uh, already clipped. Uh, the clip is done. Then let's see if it's okay. Yes, it's done. Now I have only uh, the track taxis uh, tracked in over um, Nanjing, not beyond. In that at a specific time, and at specific location, uh, at some maybe let's say highway or national road or avenue or simple road, uh, I can also add the road so that maybe you understand what I'm, I'm doing now. Let's add the, add the road uh, from here. I can add some, some road. Because I'm tracking taxis in Nanjing, then along this uh, network, road network. Okay, let's zoom in and then, uh, okay. Okay, I may do this one black, maybe so that it doesn't appear well. So um, let's do this uh, like a highway, highway like this one. 
Okay, these are also the national road, the national road, let's see like this. Okay. So actually the situation that you, you have here, um, we have a certain number of taxes. Of course, I took a, a very short, uh, very short data because it was a huge one and it may take some time to, to, to upload. Then I just pick a little, a, not many data, I just took a, a cut apart so that we make uh, experience about this uh, statistical analysis. So I that the, the intention of this kind of study is uh, to what? To track the area where we have the probability of many people hmm, uh, waiting or traveling by taxi. Uh, as you know, in any city, uh, we have some location where people require more taxis than others. Uh, there are more factors, maybe um, buses are not uh, passing there frequently, or maybe uh, there are no uh, metro access. And then uh, this kind of uh, statistical analysis will help us to detect the area where we are likely to get more Client. Assuming you are a you are a driver, a taxi driver, then this kind of stat, uh, uh, studies may guide you to show you where uh, no people are waiting for taxi. And for the uh, policy makers, they can easily by this kind of analysis, they can easily uh, uh, understand the network road network, network, and then maybe plan for extension of the, uh, the road if they are, they are narrow, or maybe they can extend the bus lines, or extend the metro lines, or extend maybe, uh, or even uh, build some new shopping malls, new, uh, let's say, new fast uh, shop, uh, depending on the place where people are waiting uh, for the taxes. So they, this, this will help to locate it, to locate the place where more people are, um, let's say, are going forward. Assuming this is the center of Nanjing in Wulo and Sinjeko. So you see that at a specific time, more taxis are tracked here in the center. Of course, you may see other taxis from this. Let me uh, zoom a while. This point. Uh, no, no, no. Let's make maybe a green one. Maybe you see in that here. Well, uh, maybe 12. Okay. Um, no, not this one. Sorry, sorry. I should do this one. Uh, let's put. Um, well, okay. Yes, like it was, I was saying that like this is actually this, the, uh, the central, the, the center downtown of Nanjing. So you see that most of taxis were tracked there, were, were, tracked, were tracked there. So this, this is, the, this is the, the, actually the position, the position where we, we counted taxis. This is the position, because this is actually long last. Is the position so you see that most of taxis or most of uh, private cars were tracked in this area? This, of course, uh, uh, is about talking about the location where taxis are uh, being uh, tracked in the, this city. And then, what to do now? I said that today I may not start by the, the correction, I say it is very useful to start by analyzing. Uh, the hot spot, especially the nearest, uh, the average of nearest neighbor, to see where there is a probability to get more, more taxis passing either with passengers or without passengers. This same method or this same uh, type of studies of, is uh, very suitable when tracking. COVID-19, this pandemic, uh, 
the same, the same way, the same way. So the way I'm conducting uh, this study is the same way if you are, uh, maybe if you are called to do, to conduct a search on um, COVID-19, you use the same method, this one. Of course, this is applied on taxis, you know, but in your city, in your country, in your area, you can apply the same study, the same method on maybe tracking COVID-19 uh, cases, tracking maybe uh, uh, market, tracking about uh, about you, about uh, wealth in our country, etc., etc., etc. Even cases of health, etc. Okay, let's go forward on the point. I was there. I took some time here to explain so that you understand what am I going to do? What is going on now? Before I go to the specific part, it shows um, worth to make you understand why I use this example and what do I expect to do with this example. So let's go on a, a statistical, a spatial statistical tool, and then let's start by analyzing patterns. And uh, of course, let's see about this uh, tracking point, uh, this location, this location. To see this location, to first to see the location, how the loca how this text will track, I can simply uh, make a kind of study on uh, average nearest neighbor, this one. So in this, I just put the data and by default, by default, this will calculate the long lap, the position, the position. Uh, let's uh, even don't need to put uh, other information. Let's do by default and see what it's going to give as a result. It may be processing down here. It is processing here. I'm going to see uh, the average of nearest neighbor uh, according to the location of the tract point. Let me just check why what is going on. What's wrong with this one? Let's check again. I was going to take the average of um uh -huh. Yeah, there's that will be uh, a kind of um showing how how closer or near the taxis or the private cars were tracked across this uh, city. Uh, let's see uh, the output. Although it doesn't display the, the information on the map, but I can leave this one. But how I got there, uh, let me go back. So when I display this one, it should also apply this uh, the result on uh, this location point. But if in case don't get, don't get it, you can still get idea on how your data, how your text your, your text will, will locate it by reading the result. So the result is well. You see, for me, I just opened the uh, the popped one. But you may come on geoprocessing and open the result. And in the result, you may find that the, the current station is about average nearest neighbor. And then show you the number of ratio in terms of ratio about the, this um, point tracked. And then it may show you also the average of this score, the standard deviation about the location of the point the p-value uh, we will see about what is the p-value but mostly you may you get this uh, report about nearest neighbor result then you open this one which is a xml then this uh, actually uh, show you the, the, how you, you make an interpretation of the average nearest uh, uh, neighbor the way uh, you may uh, check or uh, explain how your data, your your text will, will locate it, because 
I said this one was only applied on long lap, the, the point where uh, the, ta the taxis and the private cars were located. So in case uh, you see where, when we have the data in such a way, means that we have uh, the clusters. And then you may have, you may find that these uh, taxis or private uh, cars are random or dispersed. Then we may uh, try to explain about the significance level or critical value uh, using this score. And this score you may uh, know that this one is about the standardization about the the, the position the position of this this. Um, uh, taxis and private cars, but before so before I, I uh, come on this, let's uh, go straight on the hotspot and then I will turn on this point so that you understand well what is actually the average of nearest neighbor. Let's uh, make the hotspot and then I will turn on that point later. Uh, let's move on this point on clusters. And use this um, this method, which is uh, has been established by by Gates and Odd. If you want more information, you can check about uh, this hot support analysis and then uh, see all the theories about. There are more technical uh, formulas about this, but in packages you simply display. So, what do we need to put here? We simply put this the data, uh, this one, data of presentation. And then now I have two uh, variables. I have the either taxis or I have particular cars or private cars. Let's uh, first of all uh, check about the taxis. And of course, uh, here you are required to to add the output, then uh, it's better to go where you want your data to be. Let's say, uh, put one, put one, uh, one, maybe there yeah, is yes, somewhere another one, and save it. So uh, here we have more. Uh, more uh, functions to be used. Uh, we may use uh, the fixed uh, distance band. Okay. I was saying like we. I was saying like here, after putting the features class, which are the data containing, of course, the the loan, lot, uh, taxes, and um, private cars. Then on this input field, you make sure you have selected the field you want to, to study. Then I said, you come on this output features class, and then you locate your data. And uh, finally, uh, the most crucial things to be done is to uh, this conceptualization, partial relationship. Uh, of course, we have already the, the data with uh, different locations, but here more uh, technical uh, methods are proposed. What is the concept, conceptualization of spatial relationship? Uh, this actually specifies how a spatial relationship among features are defined. So it means that uh, this uh, will help us to, uh, to, to understand the way uh, the taxis or the private cars uh, are, are, are located, are tracked, and the, then try to understand why. We, of course, the hotspot analysis will locate where we have a hot spot or where we have, we have cold spot, of course, hot and cold. So, in this, we can also use the inverse. Uh, we can also use this one. The inverse distance, uh, which is the uh, uh, paper to, to analyze the nearby neighboring features, that have a large influence on the computation for a target feature that uh, done features that are far away. So this one, the 
in the distance, in distance theology, which help us to uh, track the relationship between very closer, closer taxes or closer um, particular cars. In other way, we can also use the uh, inverse distance squared. And the inverse distance squared uh, is like the same like the inverse distance, but except that this uh, will show the slope, uh, which is sharper, mm, and uh, uh, it will influence more drops than the inverse distance. Uh, there is also a fixed, a fixed, uh, fixed distance band. What about it? Let's check. You can always check on your right. They provide some information about it. Uh, before you run it, you may read this part. They provide uh, explanation about it. Uh, and that's this one on this way. You can read here this one. For example, see that here it is explained the fixed um, uh, distance band. So in this way, uh, this one will help us to show the features which are analyzed within the context of neighboring features. So neighboring features inside the specified critical distance, I think that the distance band or threshold distance that receives a weight of one and excess influence on the computation for the target feature or neighboring features outside the critical distance receive a weight of zero and they have no influence on target feature, etc. So you see that they give more explanation about each method. So uh, in my case, I I normally like this inverse distance or inverse distance square. The two are somehow the same. They provide the results which are closer. Uh, let's start by inverse distance. Inverse distance, we saw, we saw that uh, this one will help us to show the closer relationship between two locations. So the track, uh, taxi or uh, pivot cars or uh, COVID cases, maybe taxi positive COVID cases or vaccination, et cetera. Because this is currently used to track also COVID-19 to see where we have more people who are um, likely to be affected by COVID, then the same method. We can use this uh, method to see the relation, the closer the relationship to the closer where uh, people are closer, so they are likely to get this, to get ill or to get, uh, to get, um, let's say, uh, vaccinated, etc. Then in this case, I'm I'm studying about the taxi location. And then the passengers waiting for taxis, or either I track the taxis without passengers or taxis with passengers. Then uh, I said there is also a distance method. Of course, we cannot, uh, we are talking about uh, location points, the taxis, uh, these are moving uh, things, then we may also in, in, uh, include the distance. So we cannot include the distance by hazard. We just use this Euclidean distance method. What this one means? The Euclidean, uh, Euclidean distance method uh, will help us to, or to, uh, to make straight line distance between two points. Yeah, uh, we can also use Manhattan distance, but I, I, I usually use this Euclidean distance. So this one. And here, uh, distance band or threshold distance. So uh, sometimes you, you can fix your own, uh, by your own, you can just uh, specify the distance band or threshold distance. Uh, in this case, maybe you specify a cut of distance for inverse distance and fixed distance option. So features outside the, the specified cutoff for a targeted feature are ignored in analysis for that feature. However, for area or zone of indifference, the influence of features outside the given distance is reduced with distance Y. Those inside the distance threshold are equally conserved. The distance value entirely should match that of the output connected system. So to avoid maybe to, uh, to make limitation of the 
the capacity of this in the distance calculation. I cannot put the distance, but uh, if you were sure, maybe uh, you really uh, understand your area of study and then uh, the distance between maybe the track information, either the taxes of cases of marketing or COVID, etc. You can put a, a distance here, but you see it is mentioned optional, so you are not obliged to uh, to put the, the distance. So it's not a map. Then I simply ignore that one. Also, you can put a self potential field. What about this self potential field? This one means like the field um, representing self pot potential. So the distance or weight between a feature and itself. So this also I ignore. Then apply first discovery rate. Uh, if you apply this one, maybe it may also uh, change the way the results will appear. Let's uh, keep the way it is, and maybe later on you can apply this. So let's put OK. And wait, is processing somewhere down there? It's maybe processing. I can check the way it's processed. It is processing. You may check here. It is processing on the side, processing. Look, the way it is processing. Then I'm waiting for the result. You see, it is still processing. I, uh, why it is processing, I can remind you that, uh huh, already done. Already done. Then let's uh, untick this one. Untick this one. And uh, maybe uh, open this in rule. So, uh, okay, let's. Let's zoom this one, zoom in, let's zoom in. And let's change maybe the color to avoid the confusion between a road and uh, these track taxis. Let's use another uh, color. I should remind you that this one is about uh, the, the hot spot. So it means that we now track, we are analyzing the taxis uh, location, and then this shows uh, as where uh, we have more uh, taxis, uh, either with passengers abroad, abroad or not, but uh, the probability of getting more taxis or less taxis, or the probability of getting more people waiting for taxis or more making command of taxis. So this actually uh, uh, guides the drivers to locate the potential uh, client or passenger. They will see, okay, if I use this way, this, uh, let's say, this uh, uh, highway, uh, I'm not likely to get, to get more clients because there are more taxis in this way. So let's maybe uh, below this, this uh, avenue or this, this uh, national road, I will get more passengers there because they are not, uh, taxis there are not uh, so much. So this hotspot uh, is very, very important for uh, road network or in this case, the COVID-19. This is very, very, very useful. I hope that uh, each and every one of you who will be uh, called to make uh, a study on COVID-19, he must use this kind of analysis to track where people are more likely to get uh, uh, let's say to get to get, to get tested positive or uh, die, or you never know. Uh, my intention was to try to to move this load so that you see well. Okay, let's uh, the road one. Okay, and maybe let's use another color, a clear one, so that you you get uh, well. The, of course, they may come on this symbology, as you know. Let's see that the color which will be different from the one already displayed. Maybe uh, this one is red. OK. 
to okay let's no no so let's check the red and blue one this one uh, and then in terms of um no let's let's keep keep, keep it and see the intelligence as to see Okay, I can also increase the size. I can remove all the rows, maybe to be clear. Okay. Okay, yeah. Maybe now to can be clear a little. So let's wait it to be initialized. So let's make interpretation of this um, this result that I got. It means that uh, if I make you remember, I want to special statistics tools, then under mapping clusters, I just took the hotspot analysis, which is developed by Gates and Odd GI uh, assist. Then interpre uh, interpretation of this one means that uh, the place or oh, um, I may I may do this color and have to go to like this color. Uh, since I use I normally conduct hazard analysis, this color are not true. The red might be the one which is hot and the blue is colored. So let's uh, check. Uh should you do not see this one? No. So actually, uh, I I was going to, to make an interpretation because it is not uh, it is easy to display something a, a figure since we are not going to, going to make our own code, but it is also uh, very important to to get idea about the interpretation of what you, of you've already displayed. So as you can see, uh, we have where we have more green to me that uh, it is a place of code spot and uh, we have 99 uh, percent of confidence uh, to me that in this some of these places where we have green even in, even in the downtown you see somewhere we have uh, this um, uh, green point it means that at this place or this may be a, a, an avenue or maybe just a simple road or a paved road and then on that place, uh, the, it is likely to get less, less demand of taxis, or only two taxis were tracked passing by that road. That's the meaning, the call spot. So it means that on that, on that uh, area, we have only two people who are just waiting or commanding online or either sending or uh, just taking taxis as means of transportation. Uh, so the, this this one, uh, let's say, cars green means that maybe there the taxis are passing on that place. Or also there are some passengers waiting for taxis, but not um, not many people. Or the number that we have tracked the passage of the taxi. Are less. So as you can see, um, there is even a place which is not significant. It means that in the, this area, in some of this area, in some of this area, some of this area, uh, we are likely to, uh, let's say, spend like one hour or some, let's say, like spend 30 minutes just uh, seeing a taxi passing there. That's the meaning. That's the meaning. So what about the hotspot? Hotspot. Uh, you see that uh, I use this color. I like this color because it's going gra gra gradation. So the hotspot uh, at 90 uh, confidence of level uh, means this color uh, uh, half green, half red, like here, like here. 
like here. There are places where, uh, of course, uh, the, the demand in, ter in terms of uh, taxes uh, is increasing, is increasing. So by uh, per minute or per five minutes or per half an hour, we can um, identify more uh, taxes uh, passing on that side, on that road, or that avenue, or that highway, or that national road. The same I say, like the same uh, analysis can be applied on other fields in health field, uh, agriculture, etc. But here, my example is focused on transportation. Then here it is a matter of uh, taxes, demand, and taxes, uh, track. Yeah. Uh, this, the more, uh, the red, red one color, this like more red color, as you can see this one, um, on this area, here, uh, here, uh, even here, even here, even on this side. It means that this red color means the hot spot uh, at 99% of uh, confidence is that here are um, uh, this uh, venue, this uh, highway, this uh, national road, or this, um, let's say this, this area is likely to get more people uh, taking taxis as means of transportation. So it means that we can count more taxis on this place, uh, on this, uh, this road. So it means it's hot spot. It means that on, at any second, at any minute, you can track some taxi passing there. So there's the probability of seeing more people uh, going towards that place to get a uh, taxi. So uh, why this map or this method is very uh, important? Uh, with this uh, kind of analysis for uh, taxi drivers themselves, if they by the uh, the technology uh, with the phone. They can track automatically where uh, more taxis are. They can track the hotspot. They track the hotspot. So that's why sometimes when you take taxi in Nanjing, for people who are in Nanjing, when you take taxi, uh, sometimes the, the driver may take a direction uh, that you think is wrong. No, it is not wrong. He takes that, uh, uh, that way, um, that direction, because he already tracked where the hotspot. Say like, if I go this way, maybe, uh, I will not get a chance to get more clients because there already are more taxis. But let's, or in case he's uh, in a place where there are not uh, more people waiting, he can just come on this place. Because this, this place is a place where more people are waiting for taxis. So some, according to my studies, I found that most of these places where you see the uh, red color are the places are the road, Mm, highway or national road or um, avenue or just who are uh, passing nearby either the shopping mall, either the uh, supermarket, either the, the park, the park or the, the KTV, yeah, yeah, like that. So, or the school or, or some school, may, maybe second school or university. So, uh, this according according the uh, my findings and the, the what I, I, I saw on, on the field, of course. So this is uh, very significant, but let's, uh, on the same point, you see here, we just analyzed this one, a hotspot analysis uh, with good objectives and odd genes. So let's um, explore the uh, information about the that we already got. Uh, so we go on this hotspot, then let's, let's say open the uh, properties. Let's open the property, property, okay. properties. So in properties, uh, come and check on this, uh, on value here, on value. So you see uh, this analysis was about just to, to check the taxes. Hmm? Uh, in order to to deliver or to discover where we have more or uh, percentage of more uh, people uh, that's taking taxis as mean of transportation or waiting for tax or making command of taxis. Yeah, it means the fluent uh, 
the frequency of taxis on uh, road or highway or uh, national uh, road. So you see, after uh, displaying uh, uh, this hotspot, we got this uh, GI, GI means this one. Uh, I can, you can come here and see hotspot analysis, get this or the GI. See that this, this method is actually uh, known as, in short, as GI. Yeah, so GI disco or GI event. So what's uh, the difference between uh, score and, and the value? So this 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 score is just uh, about the uh, the standard deviation. So it means oh, no matter how these taxis are are located or the frequency on different uh, uh, highway or different. Uh, uh, let's say uh, national roads. Uh, of course, even though we have some places with hotspot, but we may get some uh, standard deviation. Mm -hmm. It may not be on the same level, or we may get the, this p value. This p value is about the, the confidence level, yeah, uh, of this hotness or coldness. Coldness. So. Uh, there is another way to show to show this. You can show this how um, how this this, this taxis are um, let's say are distances or or the way they are on the, the, the road. Even though we have the same hotspot in this road, let's say the Guru uh, uh, Dada or Nuhe Dada, but they might be uh, a, a very high or low this score. So. By this one, you can use the former uh, study method. I remember I saw in the program that you've already explored this, um, some of these tools. You have uh, made exploration of this tool, this one, special analysis tools, where we have this interpolation, this one. Uh, I mostly uh, use the interpolation from the geostatistics uh, analysis tool. Since I am making partial analysis uh, statistic tools, then let's use the interpolation from the geostatistical analysis tool. Let's see the next page. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Then here on the same this one, geostatistical analysis tool, I can get from here uh, this um, uh, interpolation method. Why do I need interpolation? I want to uh, to understand well uh, the, the let's say the, the location or the frequency or the uh, the demand in terms of taxis uh, across this city uh, uh, Nanjing. Then I want to see how is the standard deviation or the p-value. Then standard deviation means the z score. Uh, then I most of the time uh, use uh, this uh, inverse distance weighted. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, interpolation methods, but of course, some may be suggested by using Kennel or any other method, but for my case, I use this one. Then what do I want now? I'm going to add this one, hotspot. Let me see, hotspot. Let's, let's go. Sorry. I showed you that here in hotspot, if you open, you see that, wait, you see that they are mm, more value. value. Uh, this uh, hotspot has also generated this score and key value, right? And any value, and even GPN. These are some of the uh, methods that already uh, are, or let's say, are related to hotspot. Then, but uh, I'm interested in um, analyzing how is the Z score, which is a um, standard deviation. So now I said that I'm going to the to interpolation method, this one, and then I'm going to input a feature. The feature to be input is this one, hotspot. I'm not going to input the data uh, presented. No, no, no. Now uh, my target. Is to, is to add this hot spot because it's the one uh, which contains, hmm, of course, uh, the data generated about the G score and 
g p value f okay then let's add this one and z value field means the, means the variable to be uh, displayed i'm going to check to, to choose this one this score this score uh, this means the standardization to see how hmm? uh, this uh, host port may be integrated Am I going to add anything here? No, I think so. I just put output the essential optional. No need. Uh, layer, no. Output your statistical layer. This one, produce, this layer is required of output only if no output raster is requested. Okay. Then, no, no need. Output raster optional. So, uh, let's make this our output because I'd like to see the output. Uh, this is actually the score. The score because I need this one. I need, I need the, the raster, of course. I need, I need this one because I use this interpolation method. This one will help me to um, uh, to generate the raster. So I want this one to be saved in uh, day one. So about output cells, you know, here sometimes you can, you can adjust or ignore. The power you can ignore. Or oh, this major semi-axis, etc., etc., you can ignore. Let's, let's display and see what's going to, going to come. But uh -huh, uh, pay attention to this one, because my intention is to show um, in terms of, um, of standardization, Maybe, uh, and I want to to get a result a raster. So it is better if I can apply this interpolation on the uh, my area of study. So let's then uh, make determine the the environment setting. So I'm gonna uh, choosing uh, the my shape file, of course, this one, Nandi, this one. And then, uh, since I want uh, to get a result, a raster, of course, I cannot ignore to set this mask uh, option with always my share file, nothing. Then, okay. And then, okay. She's processing down here. She's processing. She's processing here. Yes. The result is there. The result is there. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, distribute this one. And this one. And this one. So the result is this one, this score. Okay, let's move it up. So here is my result now, this one, this score. This actually is like a, a, the standardization um, in, in, in kilometers, in kilometers. Uh, since uh, um, we are talking about the distance and this are standardization in terms of meters. Uh, but as it is a, a disc core, it doesn't ha have a unit, no unit here. Don't put a unit here, don't put him. No, no unit here. But this, um, the, these are that we get uh, are like likely to be compared with, uh, in terms of distance, uh, how long uh, we have the uh, standardization uh, from the, the mean. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this area, they were likely to get uh, taxes, only less taxes were, were, were tracked on this side. Uh, this side, maybe sometimes also depending on the method you use or the measure you want to display, you may get some um, uh, unclear, unclear info. That's why you need to compare more, more results. So if you compare the first one, this one, this hot spot, let's go, let's see, check this one. So you see that most, most of, most of taxis are uh, are just uh, going forward the district this one the, the downtown downtown here but you see that 
uh, over here you may get one tax CO2 uh, which are tracked by this means like we track by by time one minute five minutes ten minutes I told you before this is just a, a part of my data she was a, like a huge data this just I took a, a small part that's why maybe you don't see more taxes here I didn't want to to use the um, uh, the data which is very uh, heavy, yeah. But you, you can see uh, we have uh, one tax here, uh, one side. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you you see this displayed uh, this call standard deviation, this one, um, you can see that. Uh, here on this on this place here and here and this area and this area uh, there is a very high uh, standard division means that from the where we have the the, the hot spot at 99 confidence of level or 95 or 19 uh, on this place is uh, there is a very coarse uh, difference means that in terms of the location or the demand or the people who are abroad taxi or taxi without passengers or is, is, is uh, no passengers inside abroad we see that uh, there is a, a very uh, significant emotion to, to be said specifically on here where we have more red this there is a very high standardization why here? I just make a point on this one. Why here? Of course, uh, if I uncheck this, this one on this place, you see there is the red one. Mm -hmm. I, I, want, I want you to understand this. There is this red point. Oh, this red point means that at this place, although we have one point, this may represent more taxi. Although we have one point, this area hmm, is likely to get uh, or to see more taxi passengers or more people waiting for taxi there or more people or, uh, using taxi as a means of transportation on this place. Though it is one point. So at a given time, here where we track more taxi on this place. However, however, the there is uh, a difference in terms of, of standard deviation. You cannot assume that this place is likely to get more passengers. Why? Maybe uh, this, at this time, at this moment, uh, when this, uh, we start this uh, taxis, maybe it was a time when a student are going home, let's say on peak time, peak time. But at other time, maybe, the taxis are very rare. There are no taxis there. That's why we see there is, uh, at the same time, support, but also we we have standard deviation. Don't see that there is, it is not likely likely to get more passengers who. Uh, use taxis as any transportation. That's an interpretation, an interpretation of this uh, this map, which is very important. To display a map is not uh, is easy, but make interpretation of the map is another thing. That's why I will, I I just um, go slowly within this uh, starting part so that you understand. Maybe later on I will, I, will, I go fast a little, but on this big point, I want you to know that. The most important point is not to display a map, but the most important point is to explain, to discuss, to make interpretation of the graph. So the point was about here. Why we have only, it seems like there's one point, but it is among the hotspots with 99% of confidence, right? Meaning like at this place, it is likely to get um people who travel by taxi or people who are 
waiting for taxi or taxis were passing passengers or passing without passengers. So it means that at this point, at a specific time, we chucked more taxis. Okay, but however, even though more taxis were were chucked on this place, it doesn't mean that this place, uh, in terms of average or or, or mean, is eternally um, likely to get to be to get more clients, more customers who uh, use taxis as a means of transportation. No, because of the the discord or standard deviation. This one, you see, the higher we have hot spot, and we have we have also uh, discord high. So in another way, someone can say maybe this is like a, uh, it is not um, true because how it comes uh, the area where we have uh, a hot spot with a confidence level of 99, and at the same time, we have the uh, discord or standard deviation in terms of the frequency or rotation of the taxi. Yeah, I try to, to make you under, uh, understand why. Of course, this is uh, about when tracked, this, this, this taxi will track. It may, it may happen like uh, at a specific time, in this uh, place, there is um, it is a hot spot. Hmm? Let's assume it is it was a, a, an area where there is a shopping mall or a a school. Yeah, and then let's say uh, at a certain time, maybe when it is when when the shopping mall is closing or when the school is closing, then there is uh, more people. Uh, making commands or just uh, going home uh, by taxi. But however, this may happen at a given time, not at uh, each time. Uh, in difference here, in this uh, downtown, downtown, downtown there is, there is a permanent, yeah? permanent uh, demand. That's why you see most of this this band, you see, most of this area, most of this area uh, nearby the, 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 the center, we have a very uh, low disco, means that here, of course, um, there are more people or there are more uh, taxi demand or there are more taxi passing from, from the suburb towards the town, suburb towards the town, suburb towards the town, done, taking people from hmm, very, uh, let's say, uh, at a less distance from the, the, the downtown. Yes. This was about the, the uh, explanation about the hotspot and the, to make you understand what was actually the, the uh, nearest, uh, the average of nearest neighbor. Hmm? Uh, this this hotspot is, uh, come to make us understand what was uh, given by the figure, uh, the figure, this one, this one. So this figure was uh, provided, was, was given when I uh, displayed the average nearest neighbor where I got this significant level and the critical value at this score. See, on this side. So it means that uh, with this uh, hot, with hot spot, we can easily understand also uh, the average nearest neighbor. Uh, know where more taxis are likely to be closer each other and where uh, taxis are maybe passing after a long distance or are not contiguous like in downtown. This was the first point. The second point is to to make interpretation also of the p value. This it was about this, just the, the standard deviation. So let's uh, have a look on the p value. Also, we use the same uh, this one. Let's open. I showed you that in hotspot, this was generated uh, also another uh, 
value, which is the p value, this one. That's, this one is uh, just showing us the, in terms of significance, maybe where taxes um, are, were, were passing, were taxed at a certain, at a given time. So let's use the same uh, method, maybe to see how it's likely to, to be. Let's use the inter inter interpolation, the inverse uh, uh, distance weighted. Uh, we use this hotspot because the uh, the p value, the g p value is there. Then let's let's now see the g p value. Then we see the neighbors. Mm -hmm. You know this, uh, but you can always put. There is one. This is the p value. I want to see the p value here? Then. Uh, I said you can you can ignore all, but see is there any, anywhere we we have another specific comma? No, let's see if it works. Sometimes may complain, but let's say uh, click on it and see. Yes, it works. But I committed one mistake. <laughs> uh, the mistake I made, I didn't uh, set environment. I didn't set environment. Uh -huh. So let me, let me uh, remove this and reduce. Uh, let's, let's, let's accept this one. And then just uh, we do this uh, option, hot pot, right? Then uh, source ID, no, Z value field. We are focusing now on uh, G uh, P value. Uh, then let's uh, save it, this one. Oh, it is already there. Yeah. Let's say number two. P value two, maybe. Okay. And then I have to set the environment. I have to set this environment because I want to apply this function on my area of study. Then processing the sense. Um, let's apply on my area. Which is the chef file managing. Of course, I go down there to specify the, how the answer will be the mask up option, mask option, mask option with managing. Okay, okay. Okay, then see. Yes. Then let's unzoom this one. Okay, this is actually the, uh, the output. Let's, uh -huh. as I said, you see, this is the downtown where we have the more probabilities of um, frequency in terms of taxis, either with passengers or without passengers uh, from the suburbs. So this, uh, what about the p-value? Uh, I may check some, uh -huh. Uh, we can see that the more we have, uh, this is the highest, but it's not too high. It is not too high. You see, you see below one. Yeah. Even if we still have the same thing because um, the highest should be is less than one. Okay, it's good. Then, um, in terms of uh, confidence level, as far, uh, we have seen that. This area, of course, with uh, the eastern part, uh, eastern part, this eastern part, it has a highest confidence level uh, of getting mm, taxi or people uh, taking taxi as a mean of transportation. Mm. So this actually, if you if you, in, you compare mm, the two results. Uh, the the z score or standard deviation and this p value which actually is shown us about in terms of the significance of the, the data you may find that um, this part this part mm -hmm, because I use the separation this part is likely to get mm -hmm, uh, more people traveling by taxis 
done, the next one, the first. You see, the next part. So it means that uh, according to the, the study, we, may, we can see that the, the area where we are expecting more people uh, using taxis as a of transportation is this part. Let's unzoom a little. Yeah, is this part, you see? This part, yeah, this one. So it means the the north the northern part and the southern part uh, uh, maybe on in this area only some uh, private people and buses uh, just uh, just uh, go towards this direction and for people who live in Nanjing you know this is in, this place is somehow uh, far from the downtown. Also, this one is somehow far from downtown. So uh, people may not use taxis because it is using taxis from downtown to this place or from this place to downtown is expensive because it is too long, long distance. So this is very um, understandable. This is uh, true for people who live in Nigeria. This map is, uh, is, is, is right, it's right, it's right. So people from this part south, and people from the north uh, are unlike, unlikely to take taxis as a means of transportation. Yes. So um, you see that from only one thing, from the uh, the special, I go there down again, from this special statistic tool, especially in this uh, mapping clusters, uh, in terms of clusters, we just, uh, I just focus on the, um, uh, the hotspot analysis. Uh, which is generated by Getis and Ot, uh, usually uh, called GI uh, asterisk. Then we took uh, uh, advantage to analyze uh, where uh, we have hotspot and where we have cold spot. But is it enough to know to locate where we have hotspot and where we have cold spot? No, not now. So that's why. We also analyze how how is the standard deviation and how is the the the, the, the p value or just a estimation of the, the significance about the location or the passengers who normally take uh, taxis at given time in the city Nanjing. This is not enough. We have, we can also uh, check the same. But um, using, we can see where are the clusters. Yeah, you see, we see here, focus on this one, in special statistic tools, mapping clusters. So I first of all uh, went through hotspot analysis. So this was like to make you first uh, have this idea why we, we need to make such kind of analysis. And I said, like for anyone from you who will be uh, asked to conduct a uh, maybe study on COVID-19 should use this method. It is very suitable. One, it helps you to track where you have more cases, less cases, and where people are likely to be, um, con 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 let's say, to be tested positive, or where people are likely to be in danger, or the degree of vulnerability about the uh, COVID-19, this is the same method. Don't uh, say like this only for transportation. No, it is even used for, for uh, agriculture, uh, for business, etc., etc. So uh, let's see the how in terms of clusters and outlier. So clusters uh, in a simple way is like some, the location of uh, features which are uh, uh, somehow closer to each other. And uh, you may see like there are some uh, features which are dispersed, and features who are contiguous, and features who are somehow are not neither uh, uh, contiguous, neither, neither uh, dispersed. Then this, uh, this method, uh, matching uh, clusters, cluster and auxiliary analysis, which is uh, set by Anselm uh, Moran uh, one, just to help us to, to see where we have more taxis who are like 
like a like a number of taxes were in one place like 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 uh, one another in terms of contagious and where taxes are dispensed from one each other okay let me just uh, make uh, and keep this one and keep this okay okay let's also and take this one what spot because now i want to, i want to also to to see again the taxes i will come on a private after let's see the taxes here i i activated the the, uh, the location these are long last actually so let's see in terms of clusters and out here so uh, clusters and out here uh, given a set of weighted features technologies identify statistically uh, significant hotspot, code spot, and spatial access using this method, more than one. So this will also show us in terms of hotspot, code spot, uh, but uh, by specifying hmm, the cluster in terms of cluster. Okay, then uh, what about then going to be uh, input? We input features class, which is um, uh -huh, not a spot, because I came on the initial data, uh, long that this one, this data. And then uh, input field, uh -huh, here, second of this, I'm going to input again, taxi. Yeah, this is another method. I'm going to use the same data, not the spot one, but the, uh, the initial data, which is data play the one is uh, normally like this then data and taxi so output features last of course have to, to mention where well, this will be uh output let's see mention it we call it cluster cluster okay let's call it one uh here and here uh, then, as I said, you see we have different method here, the same way as our spot. Uh, we can use the input distance squared. Uh, when you are make your own exercise, you can check most of this uh, function. You can check from the input distance, input distance squared, fixed distance band, zone of inference, uh, get spatial weight from file. Uh, you can check each of, of them. I normally use this one. Of course, I said in terms of distances, because we are dealing with distances here, uh, point of in this place, in this place, in this place. So it means the distance is very significant in this work, in this uh, kind of studies, the distance is very important because we are trying to track or to analyze the, the features located at a certain uh, area. Then uh, use uh, normally uh, keep this equilibrium distance. So what about standard deviation? Am I going to apply the standard deviation uh, or no? Let's use um, what about the law? No. Or oh, row standardization is a command whenever the distribution of the features is potentially biased due to simply design or any post aggregation scheme. Non standard deviation uh translation of spatial weight is applied now spatial weight are standard and then divided by zero sum okay let's keep now okay let's keep now apply first discovery rate and let's uh avoid this one and here uh this one we use a number of limitations so depend you uh depending on uh, the expected result you can uh, you can check each and every one of these uh, this one so in this one let's see the number of permutation optional so what the meaning of them it means that if you choose zero it means that permutations are not used and a standard p value is calculated mm -hmm. so when do we use 1999 uh one 99 permutation the smallest possible the p value uh, 99, 199, uh, with permutation, the smallest possible result value, 
is mm -hmm, 0 0.005, and all other possible set of p values will be even in the uh, of this value. So let's see this one. With 499 permutations, the smallest possible set of p value is 0 0.002, and all other set of p value will be even multiples of this value. What about 999? Uh, 999 means that with the 99 uh, permutations, the smallest possible set of p value uh, is 0 0.001. What about 9999? It means that's 0 0.0001. So let's take this one, uh, the uh, default one, uh, the 499. Let's keep that one. And uh, no need to go to, to, to environment because now I don't want to display the raster, no? I just want to display the clusters and the out shares. So since the data is there, uh, the variable is there, I have already uh, mentioned where to locate my uh, information, then the method, then the distances method, none. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It is processing here. Let's wait for the start. Uh, we are waiting for the that. The that we uh, deliver as uh, the hotspot area and the cold spot, but it will be uh, quite different from the way we got uh, hotspot and a cold spot from the um, hotspot analysis from get it out. So this is like this is the uh, clustering and the uh, out areas. We could calculate the using the method uh, given by Anthony uh, more than one, but the hotspot that we uh, initially uh, calculated was the uh, we use the method uh, initiated by Getif and or normally known like GI. So let's wait for this output from the outliers and clusters. This we actually give us as the feedback the mm. the hot spot and cold spot but the way they appear will be different from the way, the way we saw this this one wait for the speed processing and in case you you, you don't have the quick result you can go and check whether uh, the processing is on sometimes you may not see uh, this um, hoping uh, uh, analysing uh, processing uh, option. In that case, when you don't see anything here and you have no result here, you can just simply come on the processing and check the result. And this result, uh, we can check the current session. So, as you see here in my current session, cluster and out there analysis from using acid local uh, more than one you see it is still processing then uh, i have to wait you see see processing it is done it is done now it is done okay it is done yes let's uh, it is done the result is this one okay let's okay this is that okay so now let's see this result uh, about the clusters and outliers using the Athenian uh, local modern one. So if this is the, uh, the output, is that output? So uh, where, where we have this dot, dot uh, gray dot, means no significant uh, hotspot or cold spot. No significant dislocation. No significant here. Oh, no significant here. Okay, even here. But high, high cluster. So it means at this place, um, were identified uh, a certain number of clusters on this place. It means like uh, here we have some clusters. So this is their yeah, high, low outliers. Aha. Uh -huh. This this is very very important. I like this one. So you see, with this uh, cluster and out here method, 
we can uh, still have the same info of uh, like food spot, but in terms of uh, clusters. So this uh, very red color, the red color, red color, this one, red color, means the high and low outria. This means, means like this is like, uh, this, um, a very high instance of uh, in terms of clusters. Most of this uh, area is cloud uh, taxes, and we have low out uh, out here, hmm? high low out here. Means that uh, in most of these, these places we have contiguous taxi. We have more taxi there. Means that at any second, at any minute, you have taxis passing either with passengers, either uh, looking for passengers, or people waiting there for, for taxis. So it means that here, uh, this area is likely to, to be crowded in terms of taxis. Okay? This area, this one, this one. And this uh, area where we have like a, a rose color, okay, is high and high cluster. Yes, of course. Uh, over this area, we also have some. Um, uh, we have also uh, more taxis, uh, like in terms of clusters. Hmm? In terms of clusters, uh, at a certain time. Mm -hmm. But uh, they are also the highest out here. So it means that they might be uh, a group, but in, in, in a short time there is also, they became disparate. Hmm? They become this disparate. So it means that uh, though they, we found some uh, clusters over this location, this location, but there is also a bit of um, this dispersion in that there is uh, high out here, not very close up. They are not very close. They may find a taxi there and a group here of taxis can earn. Means that like there is either uh, a point of where people are are, are going to it or living to at home. Yeah. So it means that in this kind of um, statistical uh, analysis, uh, one method is not enough. You may look for different methods so that you get understand and then give a good explanation about the features and the way they. They are, uh, they appear in the, your area and then the size. So these uh, clusters and outer analysis, as you can see, it is very, very useful. So it shows uh, uh, at the same time how like, likely uh, we have the clusters and uh, out there. So either you may have high and high clusters or high and low, low outlier. So then low and high outlier. So in this place where we have a uh, blue one, blue uh, point, means that at this place we have a low, uh, uh, low uh, let's say low prob probability of uh, clusters or hotspots. However, we also we have high out here. So it means that uh, the taxes are not frequent there. The frequency is very low. And so the taxes are disparate, mm, are dispersed. Uh, there are less, less groups or less uh, clusters of taxes in this area where we have blue colors, blue colors, blue colors. Even here, uh, nearby the center, uh, uh, this place may be nearby the Honsha Mountain. Yeah, Honsha Mountain, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. But then this uh, blue area means that at this blue uh, area uh, location, we have only uh, low probability of clusters, but high out there means that the, uh, the taxes are um, disparate. Um, disparate. Then low, low clusters. Yeah, low, low clusters. Yes, yeah. here we have this blue in this place. We have low probability of uh, clusters, 
no, 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 of the hotspot means that less, less demand or less frequency in terms of taxes. But also, we have also low uh, clusters, no, no group of taxi there. So it means that to pass one taxi uh, per minute or per five minutes, then it means that we have low and no class, no class. So it means if it passes only one taxi per minute. So the ability to get a, a group or a class of, 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 of taxis is new. Right, yeah. Then let's move forward to this optimized out here analysis. Okay, uh, we may also see the group analysis, but I mostly I want to see this optimized hotspot analysis. But before you go there, note uh, whenever you find this result, check about the output of the result. You may find also that the same function has generated more other uh, information. As you can see, uh, even with these um, um, clusters and the uh, outriers, we can also check it about the Z score, the standard deviation and the T value and the code tip and the, the neighbor, nearest neighbor, neighbor. We can see check. Mm -hmm. And as I told you that you can check with uh, the, the interpolation method, method. Yeah, right. So, uh, even though we already have already seen how the group, uh, the clusters, and outliers are in terms of significance and hotspot, but still we can check how is uh, the disk score and p p value. We can see check. Yeah. But let's move forward for this one. Of my uh, come again on this uh, special statistical uh, tools, and then we are still focusing on mapping clusters and I want to see the op optimized hotspot analysis. This also is very important, especially when you are dealing with a huge data located, even you can see here. Uh -huh. and my data also was too huge in terms of, of, of million, 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 million. Yeah. Um, you see, um, what about optimized hotspot uh, analysis? Uh, this one gives an incident point or white features point or polygon creates a map of statistically significant hot and cold spots using the gated or GI statistics. Mm -hmm. What it does, it evaluates the characteristics of the input feature class produce optimal result. So this is not uh, uh, different from the hot spot one because see, see, you see that it is uh, uh, proposed or initiated by the uh, get it out or GI, but let's see uh, its input uh, compared to the port spot. Okay, uh, we go. Uh, I'm going to bring also, I bring the normal data, the initial data, this one, initial data, then um, output features. Okay, let's say, uh, let's put the output, output features. Okay, output features. And analysis field, this is very important. So, which field are we going to analyze? We're going to see analyzing uh, taxes um, due to the time we could not analyze all, but let's still focus on taxes. You can also analyze about where people with the private, private, uh, tax, uh, private cars are likely to pass or are likely to, hmm, to be gathered uh, in terms of clusters and areas. But now let's focus on taxi. Mm -hmm. Then uh, incident uh, data aggregation method, optional, bounding polygons to find where incidents are possible. Okay. This optional, polygon for this optional. Okay, let's, let's see what can we see, what's going on. Let's do it. Okay, let's uh, uncheck this one. Uh, use this one. I'm waiting for the that. It's processing down here. It's processing down here. Processing. I said that in case that you are maybe impatient and you don't see whether 
this popped up uh, uh, scriptures are moving here. If you don't say anything and you are uh, somehow anxious about the result or you are impatient, you just check from the two processing, then uh, result here. And this is that. You see, still processing. So you can be patient. Sometimes uh, these functions are, uh, may take time. Uh, I can tell you it is because I reduced the data. Otherwise, if the huge one, I just it was even taking like 10, even 20. Okay, uh, it's done. Even though it came with an error, but it's done. The optimize. Okay, now we are, okay, you see, I have uh, only, okay, yeah, I have now optimized. Let's check. Mm -hmm. So, optimize uh, is also uh, uh, showing us uh, the hotspot, of course, with the, uh, the confidence level, but it is like, uh, you're not taking it as a simple one, the simple one. This is like for a huge data. A huge data, it uh, makes a kind of combination to show to show where we have a cold spot and hot spot. It is like the same with the, with the, the hot spot, hot spot, but this one we concentrate on uh, optimize just for huge data when you are dealing with a huge uh, data. You see the output uh, is not far from the one that we got from the first uh, hotspot. Uh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Then let's go and activate this other one. The hotspot. This one. This is one. Mm -hmm. You see, there is a somehow a difference in terms of um, the location of the cold and hot. Huh? Hot spot and in terms of confidence uh, level. Check this is just the the result, the output that I got from the hot spot analysis. Get it and uh, all this. The one I got just uh, simply without uh, optim optimizing. Optimizing, okay. Then let's go back to uh, the one. Okay, and take this one. Now the, the current is that this one. The current result is this one, the optimized hotspot analysis. Optimized hotspot analysis. So you see, with uh, optimized, it is somehow try to uh, to put together, hmm? like to make a kind of uh, interpolate and somehow to show the area of hotspot with a high or low uh, confidence level or show a, the area of cold spot, of course, with high or low confidence level. But you see that this one uh, try to mm, to combine. The first one was, was like, it was the first, mm, but yet it is, it is also shown like some uh, kind of clusters, mm, uh, some clusters which are also related directly to the hot spot uh, area. Of course, with the confidence level. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, let's check again so to see the difference uh, in terms of this. Uh, this, um, of course, showed us the area with hot spot and with uh, uh, cold spot with a certain uh, confidence level, but uh, the optimized one tried to give a more. Mm, more uh, suitable, may I say, uh, location of hot spot and uh, low spot, uh, cold spot. This one, uh, I'm starting this one. You see, this it shows the cluster, hmm? the hot spot in terms of cluster. So it is clearly seen. More uh, very hot spot with 99 confidence level. Here we have uh, with uh, 95 and 90. Then this we have cold spot. So it's this optimization uh, try to optimize hmm, to see um, like conjugates or the, the area 
area with the same characteristics or the same features together. Where we have more taxis, then it combines the same area and makes like a cluster. So uh, this optimized uh, analysis, uh, hotspot analysis, is giving the, the result of hotspot. But you see, the way this optimized um, analysis uh, is uh, likely to deliver information which may be closer to the one developed by clusters and outside. Let's, let's have a look on the clusters. Let's have a look on clusters. Yeah. Uh, if you see the way the op optimized one uh, was trying to deliver result which was media to result delivered by uh, the clusters and outliers. Uh, however, uh, the optimized still focus uh, focus on the hotspot where we have more people uh, uh, using uh, taxi as a mean of transportation, or where taxi or where taxi with passengers aboard or with no passengers are likely to pass or to gather where we can locate locate more taxis waiting for passengers or taxis with passengers uh, aboard or pa taxis looking for pa uh, passengers. So this is this optimized analysis uh, uh, tried to optimize and show the area where we have more taxis looking for passengers. Where we have more taxis with passengers aboard or with no passengers at given time. Because this in terms this track this will be tracked by time, by one minute, two minutes, five. That's why when we choose a two with data. But this is just an example to show you how you can make a very good and suitable statistical analysis of your, your features by different means, especially when you want to locate the, the hotspot, the way If it is the, uh, maybe a business uh, study, you can locate where people are referring maybe uh, Coca-Cola, where people are eating more or noodles, where people are requiring more meat, where people are requiring more eggs, uh, etc., etc., etc. Et so this uh, method is applied in many fields, not only transportation, but also in many other fields. So as I told you, never, uh, don't forget to check eh, the, connect, uh, the related, uh, related uh, information about the function. So with optimized, I'm sure we have also the Z score and uh, P value. You may check again how about yes, of course, this optimized showed me where are uh, the hotspot and the, the the confidence level. But is it uh, really uh, the same situation or the um, something maybe uh, that uh, may be wrong in terms of, of uh, either frequency or uh, clusters, etc., etc. Then you can see check the score, p score, and the nearest neighbors on GI, uh, B, etc. You can check or this three, this one, two, three, four. You can see check. So let's 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 see, uh, have a look on the on this five minutes. Let's have a look on this also. Optimized uh, out here analysis. What's the difference between the optimized hotspot analysis and uh, optimized out here analysis? This one gives incident points or weighted features, points or polygons that create a map or statistically significant hotspot, hotspot and spatial out areas using the answering local models. It evaluated the characteristics of the input features class to produce optimal results. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's put the data, this one, data play. Okay. Then uh, output. This is opt out here. Okay. For it, optimize out here. Then, uh, uh huh. Here is quite different from the, the previous one because uh, here we are dealing with the count incident within fishnet polygon. We can use fishnet polygon, but don't forget to mention the 
the variable taxi. Don't forget. In case you put taxi, it means that you are focusing on taxi. But in case we ignore to focus on taxi, it means that we are focusing on the location of the point. So when you don't uh, put this uh, field, the CGT is optional. I can even, I can even ignore. Let's see. Uh, if I ignore what I will have a result, don't worry. I have here some premium. I'll show this, don't worry. Uh -huh. um, let's see if um, this one, yes. Uh, I said OT, of my out here. Okay. Then, in case I don't mention the field and I just go and uh, keep this. Um, the count incidents because you have more applications here. It may give count incident within a hexagonal polygon. So for more details, you can read here on your right. Uh, also, this one about uh, the uh, level we have already seen about it. The beast or balance. Let's take the balance. Which one? This one middle. And okay. Let's uh, and this one. Now again, this one. That is this one. It is processing down here. It's processing. It's processing. Yes. It's processing, but it seems to fail because I didn't see the output. Let's see if I use my own. Uh, sorry, don't worry. You may you may still be checking because this we have more uh, tools and more applications, so we can still checking. Don't worry about whether you uh, you display and fail. Don't worry. You can still check or check the front. Let now uh, consider the taxi. Okay, then, okay, it is processing, let's see now, let's see if it will give us the, the outer yard. I'm expecting you to, to see the place where we are um, uh, having uh, uh, taxis uh, in disparate position with outer yard, where we have one taxi here and another there, so uh, let's Cluster. So let's wait for the output. It's still processing. But this one will show us the um, uh, the outliers and the the confidence in terms of uh, outliers. So we get the hot spot, but also with the outliers and the confidence level. So it is it is still, it is still moving, but uh, uh, the chief founder of uh, the search gate told me that uh, this is the end of the class because we already have one uh, 180 minutes and uh, still this was the last point of this class of course this today's class okay yeah already done already done uh, now you're lucky it is already done okay now uh, let's have a look on this uh-huh Outliers. No, sorry. It is this one. Yeah, you see, uh, this also is showing us uh, in terms of um, not significant or high, high clusters and low, high, low outlier, low, high outlier, and the low, low clusters. So, you know that uh, it is optimi optimized, of course. It showed us hotspot, but this one optimize the out areas is showing us where we have the probability of uh, more out areas, high out areas. Though we, we, we have more clusters here, also we have high and also high, high cluster. Uh, uh, high, low, low out area. This is very important because we have more clusters with less, less out areas. Means that here, we have at, at any time there are taxis, either with people, either with no people, either people waiting for taxis. Here, it means there's no, uh, no empty place, I can say. <laughs> Let me say it like that.
Yes, this is uh, enough for today, uh, today's uh, session. I hope I, I didn't uh, uh, go fast. I tried to go slowly, especially on the explanation part, so that uh, later on you can do yourself, your own work on business, on uh, uh, health, agriculture, using applying the same method. So this is the, just the end of the session. Maybe the uh, person in charge of all this training uh, can have a talk on about this and I hope you follow from the first minute to the last one. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you so much yeah. for the amazing lecture. Thank you, thank you. Brother, Dr. Athens. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, okay, the video will be uploaded on my YouTube channel. Hmm. Maybe tomorrow. It's too late in Beijing. Okay, okay. okay. We put it maybe tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. Was, uh, can I uh, end the training? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes okay. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. We have to spend the time. Okay, we have the same training tomorrow. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank